Welcome to this online tutorial on how to use this service. We are assuming that you are a season ticket holder who wants to use this service to find partners, manage your tickets and partners, hold an online draft, or track ticket usage. The first thing you'll need to do is sign up and create an account and verify your email address. Uh, you can go ahead and do that right now and then come back if you want to follow along. If you've already created your account and verified your email address, we can get started. So you'll just click on Login. And I have a uh, email address, just a test email address and a password. Uh, you can click the Remember Me button if uh, you want the system to remember you. And I'll hit Login. So the first time that we log in, you'll see that we don't have any ticket groups. Now a ticket group is essentially at least one uh, seat or set of seats in a stadium uh, that you own or you're the group leader or group administrator for uh, and uh, then also all your partners so that could be one other partner it could be no other partner it could be you know 10 or 50 other partners so a ticket group is just a collection of uh, seats in the stadium your season tickets and then your partners uh, so we can go ahead and get started and we'll click uh, create a new ticket group so the first thing we do is just enter a name. So this is just a name that uh, you'll, you and your partners will remember. So Fred's Tickets, Bleacher Buddies, you know, these are all you know perfectly fine things to call your group. We'll just use Bleacher Buddies. But again, this could be anything that you want. Then just click Create. And uh, then we have a ticket location. So now, as I mentioned, we have a ticket group that could be, you know, one, one location in the stadium, one set of season tickets, or you could even have multiple. So if you have, for example, seats in the bleachers and then seats in lower box, both of those different locations could be managed within your ticket group. Now, most people just have one location in a stadium. Uh, so most people will just have one ticket location, but you can have more than one if that's uh, what your group has. So we'll just put a name here, and this could just be, uh, you know, Bleachers. And uh, we'll put in the season ticket account number. And then a label. So this doesn't really matter if you only have one location, but if you do have one, uh, more than one location, you could have one that's r red and one that's blue, for example, to help you keep track of uh, visually which seats are which. Then we select the venue. Uh, so your venue will show up here. And then we select the number of seats per game. So we can say uh, that for this particular location we have two seats. And then what pops up is going to be the actual locations. So you'll select your category. So left field bleachers, the section and then the row, and then your seats. So we have uh, left field beach bleachers, 125, row JJ, seats 7 and 8. And then we'll go ahead and add that ticket location. So now once we've done that, uh, we can go in and uh, create a listing for this ticket location. That will be a subject of another tutorial. But for most people, they'll want to add game tickets. Now, adding game tickets means adding actual tickets to actual games for this ticket location. So we have our bleacher seats, but we need to add the actual tickets to games. So what we do is just click on the Add Game Tickets button. And then we'll select the location. So we only have one, so that's just uh, easy for us. That's bleachers. And then we'll select this one. Next, select the season ticket plan. Now, if your team has more than one plan available, make sure you select the plan that you actually purchased. So we'll select the full season plan here. And now what you'll see is all the games in this plan are here on the screen, and they're all checked by default. If for some reason uh, you need to uncheck some of these, you can. Uh, but we have the whole plan, so we'll just go ahead and say Add Game Tickets. So that will go ahead and create tickets to every game that you've selected for this ticket location. And we end up in the Ticket Navigator. 
the ticket the ticket navigator is an easy way to go in and uh, change the status uh, and the price of any of your tickets and also you could filter uh, by date range and by uh, status uh, by the partner by the location and then also you can download uh, your data the last thing we'll do as far as getting set up is we'll add a couple partners so just to recap we added a ticket group that's kind of the collection of our ticket locations and um, also our partners uh, then we added our one ticket location which was uh, the bleachers left field bleachers for this ticket group and then we went ahead and added game tickets so you can add game tickets uh, by going to manage tickets and click on add games tickets so the last thing that we'll do is we'll add a few partners just to complete this group so we'll go to partners and we'll click on all partners now as you can see uh, there's just one partner right now and we'll add a couple more and we can do that by uh, email address and you can choose whether you want to send an email to that partner now or or not so we just added uh, Kathy we'll add another Joe and uh, we'll add one more partner okay so we've added our three partners and now we can go back to add partners or sorry to all partners and now you can see we have all these uh, three new added partners uh, I'm Joe user here so this is the group administrator and notice that uh, you have all the permissions so now these control what the other partners can see and do using this service so for example if you want uh, any of these people to be able to view the other partners or not view their pricing view available tickets request tickets or view usage details uh, you can select those privileges here so uh, we're going to hold an online draft with this group and uh, these particular uh, partners they're all friends and they know each other so I'm going to go ahead and turn on all the permissions for them and this may be the case with your ticket group uh, you can turn on all the uh, permissions and then also if you need to hide it for whatever reason you can come back here and 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 turn off permissions as well so I'll save changes and now I have partners and the last thing that I'll do is I'll go back to um, the ticket navigator and just to show you basically how this system works if I wanted to assign uh, this first game here on April 8th to a partner uh, now that partner those partners that I just added show up here so if I wanted to give these to Kathy I can do so just like that and I will assign these tickets to Bill and so on and so forth uh, this one could also go you could split these so one goes to Kathy and one goes to Joe and I'll just save my changes and as you can see these are now assigned to Kathy and Joe there's also a calendar view to help you keep track of things so we'll go to April and as you can see uh, if we click on either of these games you can clearly see who's assigned to these tickets in this case Kathy has one and Joe has the other so that is a quick overview of setting up a ticket group adding a ticket location adding game tickets and then adding partners now from here and later tutorials will look at uh, creating a listing and also setting up an online draft thank you very much for watching